minute, but Brady, you don't play sports. You said it yourself in past videos. Wait, wait, wait. Are you making up these stories? I knew you were a faker. That's it. Hashtag Brady Badly Animates is over party right now. Well, okay. One, I don't do sports now. However, I used to. Plus, just because I'm not in a sports team doesn't mean I don't sometimes play sports for fun or say, play sports in PE. Speaking of PE, PE has always been interesting for sports. And that's because people treat sports and PE like it's actually on live TV and actual money is on the line. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like that when I was younger. I would always cry when our team would lose in PE. However, the reality is, is that the only thing we ended up actually losing is the fact that we didn't have as much sweat on our uniforms as the other team has. However, sometimes, on very rare occasions, people don't take it seriously, which can actually make it pretty fun. Best example of this was a couple years ago, where we had a sub one day, and this sub took everything way too seriously. Think of that military sergeant from Full Metal Jacket, but as a PE teacher. Anyways, we were playing, and my team was losing badly, and both teams realized this, and we decided to have some fun. So, towards the end of class, the sub yells, go for us to go and grab the ball and we all just walk in slow motion to the ball and he gets very mad no 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 no! what are you doing all right stop that's it go get changed gym class is over another incident that happened in pe was that i was riding on one of those scooters that the school gets in preschool or kindergarten and we were playing scooter hockey i believe but i wasn't paying attention to the actual game i was just there like we i love riding the scooter we Yup, I scooted right into the wall. And that thing hurt. In fact, I still have the scar on my forehead to this very day. Also, let me complain about the crap we have to do in PE real quick. Like, we may not get an actual baseball unit or a football unit, but while we don't get those, we don't just get normal hockey, but we get scooter hockey too. Also, volleyball. I hate volleyball with a passion. And that's because of the hand motions we have to do. Like, no, I'm not going to be making sign language while hitting the freaking volleyball. Why can't I just hit it and go? Okay, I can't go too hard on PE because the best part about PE is the three days. However, even they can have their downsides. Like this time in seventh grade where we were playing mat ball. Now, you know the plastic part at the end of a shoelace or as Phineas and Ferb taught me, the aglet? Well, the aglet on one of my shoelaces had gotten sort of loose and was sticking out. My shoelace came untied, and so that thing was ready to let loose. And so while I'd be running during mat ball, the aglet would rub against my leg and scratch my leg. It didn't even hurt that much. Although by the end of gym class, my leg looked like I had just gotten into a battle with a tiger. But like, why didn't you tie your shoe? Oh, because then it would slow down the game and that would make me uncool. And being cool was definitely worth getting injured. How cool am I now, guys? Anyways, I don't just play sports in PE. I also play sports with my neighbors, who are also my cousins. And while those are fun, those can also contain their own troubles. So, a couple years ago, I was playing basketball with my cousins. Now, the basement window is pretty close to our house's basketball hoop. And so Sam shoots the ball, and it rolls into the window. And I say, geez, Sam, you keep that up, you're gonna break the window. I broke the window right after telling Sam not to. The funny thing was, my mom was screaming at me from the basement to get inside right now. You are in so much trouble, young man. Because she was down there changing the laundry when that happened. And Sam and them were just laughing and laughing the entire time. I would have at least appreciated some support, guys. So we obviously had to fix the window. However, it's a tiny window no one really looks out of. And we really didn't want to spend the money to fix it. So my dad fixed it with cardboard and tape. Yeah. Well, okay, I don't think it's straight up like cardboard you get from a box because it's held up pretty well considering the amount of years it's been up there now. I also used to play sports on sports teams when I was younger. The first sport I played in when I was younger was t-ball and I was definitely not the best player out there. Like the one time when a ball was coming my way. Brady, catch the ball. This is the final strike we need to win. This grass here is nice. There was also the time where we were playing a game by a fire station and a fire truck came out and every single person there on both teams immediately stopped in the middle of the game just to watch it go by. Which like, imagine if they did it on a national level. Like imagine in the middle of an NBL game, every player stops in the middle of the game to watch a plane fly by or something. Ladies and gentlemen, he's about to make a home run and win the game for the Chicago 
I also was a part of a soccer football team for a little bit, but I don't remember much from that. Apparently though, I always liked being a goalie and my mom says it's because I liked wearing the gloves, but in reality it's probably because I could pick up the grass. And that just about wraps up the chapter of me being on a sports team. Well, okay, I was on a tennis team for a couple years, but nothing out of the ordinary really happened there. And I quit a couple years later because I hate having to get up at 7 a.m. during the summer. So yeah, those are my sports experiences. I know a lot of the athletic kids out there are gonna be like, that's it? I broke my skull three times while playing football. And to that I say, well, you chose to watch this video from a person you probably already knew isn't very athletic to begin with. Unless you're new here, then you get an excuse. So, sorry I didn't break my bones, but I'll try to do so if I ever be on a team again.